Why are you didn't let us meet him last night? Because it was a bit full on yesterday. I don't want him feeling overwhelmed. Does Uncle Silver not mind that we never went to see him when he was locked up? Of course I don't. Prison's not a place for kids. Happy to meet you now, finally. Less of the uncle chat as well, yeah, it makes me feel ancient. Right, come on now, you two, get gone. The adults need to talk. I'll see you later, yeah, we'll have a proper catch-up. Do you want a cuppa? Hey, don't fuss the lad. He probably wants to get off, go and see his old mates, have a pint or something, eh? <laughs> Sally can drop you off if you like. Can I? Well, maybe not right now. Why don't I make you something to eat first? I bet you could murder a bacon butty. <laughs> I didn't mean murder. As in, kill anyone. I just, I'm sorry. Forget about it. I'm gonna have a quick shower and I'll, I'll find somewhere else to stay. Right. Yeah. Well, take your time. Have a bath if you like. You can use some of Sally's jojoba oil, <laughs> but don't waste her or she'll kill you. I don't mean she'd physically kill you, because she's. She wouldn't harm a fly. She, she's dead gentle, aren't you? I don't mean dead, as in not living anymore. Right, Myra, why don't you button it and give your backside a rest? Jeez. Thank you for making him feel so welcome. Not. You are such a hypocrite, Myra. Don't you know anything about family loyalty? We cannot have a convicted murderer living under this roof. She's right. I mean, we have got the kids to think about. So what do you want me to do? Turn me back on my own brother. 